importance of forests. Hello friends. Forests have a very important role in our lives from ancient times. They are one of the gifts of nature to mankind. We usually remember the trees when we get the comfort of their shade on a hot and sunny day. There is life if there are forests. Let us find out with the help of this video the importance of forests in our life. My name is Ram. I stay in a village in Madhya Pradesh. Last month, the International Forest Day was celebrated. It is celebrated every year on 21st March. The children of my school wrote poems on this topic, displayed posters, and the most interesting part was that we got an opportunity to visit the forests of Chhattisgarh for 2 days. Although we have seen forests near our village, but the opportunity to travel with friends in a train seemed like fun. It was a very interesting experience of our lives. Come, you all also join us in this wonderful experience. The objectives of this video are 1. Why are forests important? 2. The importance of forests in our life. Children, I hope you all are excited, isn't it? We all shall read Chhattisgarh tomorrow. Till then, why don't all of you discuss about forests? Yes, teacher. It will be so much fun. I'm very excited. Have you ever visited a forest in some other region, Ram? Once I had visited the Kanha National Park with my parents. I saw palash trees, bale trees and sal trees over there. I even saw a tiger there. The forests are so important for us. They provide us with so many essential things like wood, paper, rubber, medicines etc. But nowadays we are becoming selfish and cutting trees, sometimes for wood and for other things at other. We reached Chhattisgarh the next morning. We got ready and left to visit the nearby forest. We experienced calm and saw a lot of greenery once we reached the forests. We were welcomed by the chirping of birds and cool breeze. It is so dark here. The forests near our village are not so dark. The leaves of the trees have created a canopy and are not letting the rays of the sun penetrate inside. Yes, the trees in the forests near our village are different than the trees found here. Do you all remember that we had learnt about the different types of forests last year? Yes, I remember evergreen forest, deciduous forest and mountainous forest. Look there, bamboo. I have only seen this in books or the TV. Look, there are so many mushrooms growing here. It is amazing to see species of microorganisms to tall trees surviving together and dependent on each other in the forest. It looks like all the green colors of my paint box are here. I have never seen so many different shades of green together. Hello children, come let us go inside the forests. Remember to walk quietly and talk softly. Yes, we should not disturb the calmness in the forest. Sir, will there be wild animals here? Why Ram, are you scared? But yes, I am a little scared. Children, do not be scared. The animals live in the interior of the jungle. We shall meet the tribes in the forest. Which are these trees, sir? Children, these are mahua and tindu trees. They are the speciality of these forests. Hello, we have come to look at the different trees in the forests. Hello, my name is Taka. You are all welcome in the forest. What is it that you are doing, Taka? There is a heart organized in the evening today. I have come to collect imli and leaves from here. My parents put up a shop in the heart. Can we also come to the heart? Of course. You all come with me. 
I shall give this to my mother and then I can take you all to see the jungle. The painting on your home is so beautiful, Taka. These have been done by my mother. I can also do this kind of painting. Taka, do you go to school? Yes, since there is a hut in the evening, hence we have a holiday. I go to study in a school in the village nearby. Why are the birds chirping so loudly all of a sudden? The animals and the birds inform each other of warnings like this. Taka, are you not scared in the forest? No, the forests are like our friends. They protect us and we protect them in return. Do you go to a nearby village for fulfilling your daily needs? We get a lot of things from the forests, but if we need something, we get it from the nearby village. My father makes beautiful sculptures. He sells those in the nearby village. A few of the tribal people sell fruits and vegetables and some have knowledge of herbs and medicines. They can treat diseases. Does it begin to rain any time here, Taka? Yes, you would be knowing that forests help in bringing rainfall. The roots of the trees help in keeping the soil intact. Because of this, the trees help us from a lot of natural disasters like floods. It does not rain a lot in our village. We have deciduous forests there. Okay, what kind of trees are found there? The trees found there shed their leaves in winters and summers. It rains only for a few months in our village. The forest are our home and everything. Come, let me take you. Oh look, why is it that there are a few trees that side? The trees have been cut from that part of the forest because there are coal mines there. To procure coal, the forests have been cut. But this is wrong. We should protect forests. If we keep cutting trees like this, then one day there will be no trees left. I and the other children have started with a protest about the same. We all organize street plays on Sundays to spread awareness. We tell people about the impact on the forests due to deforestation, due to coal mines. This is such a nice thought. The coal mines are responsible for pollution too. I'm sure there is a lot of impact on the forests because of the pollution. Yes, all of you are right. But why don't we all do something about it? We understand that the coal industry is also important for the country's progress and trees need to be cut for that. If this is the case, then we all can plant trees. Yes, think if we all plant a tree each, then there will be so many trees in a few years. We have begun with a plant trees drive here. You all also plant trees with us. Why don't we begin with a plant trees drive in our village too? I am getting inspired by Taka's thoughts. Remember, we had read about the Chitko movement. Similarly, we can also begin with a movement. It will be great if we can help spread this plant trees drive in all parts of our country. Yes, you and we together can try and achieve this dream. Yes, nowadays with the help of TV, radio and mobile phones, nothing is impossible. The forests provide us with so much. They give us wood, paper, rubber, food, medicines and most importantly, fresh air to breathe. We all saw beautiful artwork in the heart in the evening. We understood how the tribes are an important part of the forests. All the children planted trees also in the plant trees drive. Taka, we all want to thank you. You gave us valuable information about the forests. We also became aware about the ill effects 
of the coal trade on the forests. Today, I am missing those forests of Chhattisgarh. We are all dependent on the forests. We got inspiration from Taka and we could help inspire the other children of our school to write on the ill effects of the coal trade on our forests. Why don't we invite Taka for the inauguration of our annual school magazine? Yes, of course. Do you know friends, we sent an invitation to Taka and he visited our school with his friends. We were very happy to meet them again. We are the future of our country. If we try and bring a positive change, then we will be able to save the green lungs, that is our forests. We should be indebted to the forests. If we understand the importance of forests today, then we can protect ourselves from various natural calamities in the future. All of you also understand the importance of forests and contribute towards saving them. <laughs>